at the barber shop. And the barber shop is open. Come on in, have a seat. When we're done with this fat guy in the camera, you'll be up next. Anyways, today I have a razor I bought a while ago. I haven't used yet. It's listed for sale as the Flying Eagle. One second. No, I have not taken my legs off and I'm not going to really shave. I'm going to leave my legs on. And just sit farther away. Ugh. You saw the box. see the box it's got a mirror inside but the box it's listed as the flying eagle online but it's the flying pigeon it's made in the 60s in Shanghai China and I'll put its weight and measurement in right here the Flying Pigeon Safety Razor, Shanghai, China, listed as the Flying Eagle. Little mirror inside. And a very, very tiny razor. I don't know if you guys can see those numbers. It's 0.65 two grams can you see that it's 20.96 millimeters so okay now that you've got the weight measurement I've got a plastic washer in it because it is metal on metal and I'm just doing a quick shave tonight because it's only been two days but I didn't want to wait till Saturday if I can get the stupid paper open and we're going back Strictly because it was just on top of the pile. Boss code. Blade, third use. Like I said, I'm going back to it just strictly because it was the one on top of the pile. I have no idea how this breeze is going to shave. If it's aggressive or if it's mild no clue to any of it looking at the top of it one side has more overhang than the other so let me see if there's a little adjusting I can do on that nope I think that's just I think that's just the way the 1960s Shanghai China razor is going to be things flipping tiny it's like a travel razor to me okay left the face Toya stick.
how's everything going out there, everybody? Get some good shaves in, I hope. Having a good time. It's hump day, getting ready for the weekend. Coming up soon. I don't know how much soap I'm even getting on my face with this thing. a little squirt. We'll get some more on. There we go. Now I'm seeing some. Yeah, I've only got two days worth of growth for this thing to grab a hold of whiskers on. So And my 22 millimeter Omega Borehead brush. And we will lather. We got some on there, didn't we? Got some everywhere. I should explain something. I said something, I've said it before in a video. I did 28 years doing armed security work, and the last eight of it, we also did private investigations. And we did, during that time, we were hired by a couple of bonding agencies. And we did skip tracing. You know, on guys that got bonded out by the agent and then didn't show up for the court date and we had a, somebody had to go find them. Well, that's what we did. So it was question everybody, question everything, hear everything, but don't believe anything. And that's, that's still kind of with me. <laughs> I, somebody says something, I hear it, I process it, but I don't necessarily always believe what they're saying is true. All right, with the grain. Wow, a lot of blade feel for this little razor. And I especially smell a certain thing even though he lives in a city now if you lived in the country I could understand you under you recognizing the scent because you would smell it more than you would in a concrete jungle of a city but yet again I don't know everybody's experience or what or what sense they've been exposed to and how they've been exposed to them but like I said it's just a skeptic in me that comes out I'll try to keep it under control it's not easy sometimes but I will try. Give this thing a mess today. This little thing is so light, I'm pressing with it like you would a cartridge razor. Because it's so light, it's actually not doing a bad job, even though I only have two days worth of growth. It's actually not doing a bad job. But 
that it might have something to do with me pressing too. So, anyways. Just a little heavy on the pasty side. I thought for sure this was a 20 millimeter brush until I just measured it before using it just now. It's 22. And it's still tiny. I think I would prefer, since I got a nice fat face, a 26 for the head and the face. If I only had one brush, I would want a 26. All right, across the game, green with the little baby razor. No, 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 no. That soap is not slick enough for me to do that. I'm, I felt some dragging going on. Yeah, that I need to appreciate. But I'm just trying to get a quickie in here. I got this razor on eBay. For 99 cents. Nobody else bid on it. And I was the first bid at 99 cents. I just got it because of novelty of being from Shanghai. Just something different to have in the collection. That's the only reason I got it. It cost four dollars and ten cents shipping, so <laughs> so I actually paid five oh nine for it. But that's okay. Still so, just a novelty to add to the collection for five bucks. You can't beat that. I've wasted more money on bigger things. That were no more of a novelty than this. Because right now, there's one on Etsy. Is it $35? So, not a bad deal. Five bucks. Against the green. You see that? See where the base of it is on my finger. My finger sticks over the top.
across the grain and with the gr and against the grain now I'm trying not to press but it's so flipping light you want to just grind it in and this brown on here that's plastic Dinner went good. I don't know if I told you guys what I made. I took chicken breast, boneless, skinless chicken breast. I filleted them out, trimmed off all the little pieces of extra fat that they don't get when they take the skin off. Trimmed them out, rolled them into a tube, like, you know, just rolled one end to the other. Wrapped it in a piece of bacon, toothpicks in it to hold the bacon in. Then I fried them in a cast iron skillet to fry the bacon. And the sear the chicken a little bit. So I cooked the, cooked the bacon that way. In the meantime, I had my crock pot on low and I put a little bit of barbecue sauce in the bottom of it to get it warm. So I cooked that. Oh, and I also put a layer of uh, rings of pineapple on the bottom. Let them warm up. So that was nice and hot when the chicken and bacon got done cooked. I didn't cook the chicken completely in the skillet. I just cooked the bacon. And then I took it out and I put it in the crock pot, covered it with barbecue sauce, or covered it with each piece of chicken with a pineapple ring. Covered it in barbecue sauce and laid pineapple rings around the top of the barbecue sauce and put the lid on it and let it cook for two and a half hours. Came out juicy. And very, very good. All right, a little bit of pickups through the normal places. This little razor isn't doing too bad, guys. And then I steamed broccoli and made rice. And I was so worried about time that I didn't get into my bedroom to get dressed until 10 after 5 and she was due here at 5 30 for dinner and rice takes a minimum minimum of 20 minutes to cook so I was kind of pressing but I got dressed got out to the living room picked up my phone and looked at it and she had text saying she should be closer to 5 45 she was running a little late but thank you for being a woman. So by the time she got here, dinner was done. And she enjoyed it because she does not cook. Cooking to her is going home and making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, she said, so. <laughs> and then, made her take a doggy bag home. Some of the leftovers for her lunch the next day. And she really liked the biscuits I made. Because I made mini honey biscuits. They were only like that big around. Because when they're smaller like that, you know how there's times you want to 
want more biscuit or more roll, but you don't want a whole one because it's too big. You just want a little bit more. That's why I made them. So if you just want a little bit more, a little bit more is all you got. But it also let the honey come through on them because I made honey biscuits. And I gave her a baggie full of those to take home too. She said she had those for breakfast the next morning with honey, honey on them. And she had a couple with lunch. So all in all, good meal. You know what guys? It's not 100% baby butt, but it is definitely a damn fine shave. Not bad for $5.09 razor. What do you think? Well, actually, a 99 cent razor. That was $5.09 after shipping. So not bad. She was, she liked the fact that I dressed up for her. So, that went over well. I don't need it, but we're going to do it anyways, just to show that I don't need it. <sighs> Nothing, not a tingle, not a ting. Not a ping, not a pong, nothing. Not a bit of anything on that. So, that's good. Oh, okay. Don't worry, the fan blew it into my face. I was counting on that. Rose Witch Hazel. Restrictor being still open on that one. Oh, all right. Well, I got a lot of musk in my hands. I'm gonna head to Nivea Men's Maximum Hydration. Mix it in with the musk. And that'll be the shave for today until Saturday. On Saturday, we go back to this. The, I'm pretty sure this is a Ming Shi. It just wasn't labeled as such. And it's basically the same razor as the Q-Shave one that's anywhere from $16 to $20, depending on where you get it. These razors, this one and the, and the Q-Shave are pretty much the same. They're supposedly made in the same factory. So I don't think I'm going to get the Q-Shave because they're the same razor. They've got slight variations, but made in the same factory, I don't know. We'll see when we get there. I might buy it. I'm not sure. But when we get to $15 to $20, I'll, I'll, I'll look into it. But we're going to put a much, a newer blade and a sharper blade in it than that Voss code. So we'll use a different one on that one Saturday. And we'll see if we can get it to give a decent shave because Mark at Friendship Shaving uses that and he actually likes it. He likes the shave it gives. He 
says the Mercure Future gives a better shave or equivalent shave. They both about the same, actually, he says. So, I don't know. I did not get a good shave out of that. I'm thinking it could have been the blade. But then uh, CB Shaves, Chris, he said that the Min Sing on 6 is like a Future on 1. So, I don't know. I got two different... I got one guy saying it's okay, and one guy saying it's a mild razor. So, this one might be a mild razor. I... Who knows? Maybe they made two different styles and never label them as different. Who knows? You know, it's the Chinese. Who knows what the hell they're doing half the time. I don't think they know half the time. They just know the patent expired on the future razor and they started making it. That's all they know. Alright guys, take care out there. Happy shaves to all. We're done with the fat guy in the camera. You're in the chair next. Happy shaves out there, guys.